hotel security tips when you're traveling. Go in front of every mirror and put one finger in front of it. If there is a gap, you're good to go. If not, two-way mirror, you need to get another room. This is one of your biggest security risks. This really doesn't do shit, and then this can also be open from the outside with a key. You're gonna grab one of these. You're gonna jam it all the way in because then the door can't be opened from the outside. I always request a room that's by the stairs and not an elevator because if something happens for the building, I need to escape as quick as possible and not rely on the elevator. And now for my favorite part. Make the room completely dark. Then you're gonna turn on your camera and see if there is any lights going on around any air vent. Same with the mirrors and the furniture. If there is a little light on, that means that there is a camera hidden somewhere. No light, you're good to go. I hope that helps. Stay safe out there. Mmm, these are some personal safety tips that could save your life. Please watch this video, educate yourself, and share this with people that you love. The world can be a very dangerous place and you need to know these things. When you are getting picked up by an Uber, do not ask, are you the Uber? Instead, ask, who are you here to pick up? Okay, I know we're all guilty of doing this, but please stop doing it. The digging for the car keys or digging for your phone in your purse. You are distracted. You don't know what's happening around you because you're too busy digging for your keys. Grocery store parking lots are the number one place that people get abducted. Please be aware of that. Once you get in your car, start your car and drive away. I know we want to go on our phone, we want to text our friends, we want to see what happened. Yeah, if there's a predator, they can see everything that you're doing. In the most unsexist way possible, a man will never ask a woman for help. This is a sex trafficking method and young women and girls need to talk about this. Usually I don't share safety tips or anything, but this happened to me this weekend and thankfully I knew exactly what to do. I was parked in a paid parking lot and there was a toy underneath the windshield just like this and instantly got in the car, locked the doors right away. Drove off, circulated a little bit and then threw the toy in the trash. If you ever have anything on your, your windshield like money, something that looks like a ticket, a stuffed animal, do not, I repeat, do not examine it and look at it. Like just jump in your car instantly and lock the doors. I don't want to scare people and make you feel paranoid or anything, but when you know what to do, that can be life saving. This happened to me in Wildwood, New Jersey, but it can happen anywhere. I read articles about it happening outside of like malls and Target and like really popular stores. Never in a million years did I ever think it would happen to me. Have fun and stay safe. Safety tips for living or traveling alone. Get a door alarm. They're inexpensive and will alert you when a door is opened. You don't trust the hotel door? Apartment door is broken? Weird college roommate? Get an alarm! They're portable, cheap, and loud. Hey guys, uh, everybody knows what's going on on the 24th, which is Saturday. Here's a little safety tip for you ladies out there. Go to Walgreens or Walmart. Get a little bottle like this. Fill it halfway up with uh, virgin, extra virgin olive oil and Put a little bit of water in it and then find the hottest hot sauce you can find and pour into the bottle. Shake it up real good. Carry it where you ever go. Two things are going to happen on this. One, the olive oil and the water and the hot sauce is going to mix together and spray out. What the person don't know is if you spray that in the eyes, that's oil. Oil and water do not mix. It runs. It you, uh, you cannot wash it out. With the hot sauce added onto it, it's going to make it hot. So the hottest hot sauce you can find, put that in a bottle, shake it up. You'll be all right. Face, hands, face for threat detection. You're walking down the street and you see a guy coming towards you. First glance at his face. Is he showing you any interest? Is he angry? Does he look like he's on drugs or alcohol? Next, look at both of his hands. Is he holding anything? Are his fists clenched? Are his hands in his pockets fiddling around? Then look back up at his face. Has anything changed? Is he looking at you now? If he's going to attack you, he has to look at you at some point. You can't do this to everybody you see on the street. We call it profiling. It's prioritizing those who could be a threat to you. Do any girls get anxious running alone? So inside of this band is a hidden charm, as you can see. And if you're ever in danger while you're running or you're working out alone at night, things like that, all you would do is double tap 
the button you could do it while you're wearing it and it will notify your five emergency contacts along with the police and it'll tell them hey Alyssa is in danger and it'll send them your exact location I think this is perfect for any girls who like to work out alone or run alone because you know that when you have those tight workout clothes on you cannot carry anything so at least you can wear your self-defense item it's important to understand that some self-defense moves like this one while funny only really work in a classroom with an obliging attacker. If someone grabs you in a bear hug in real life, try a combination of heel strikes and headbutts. Drive down with your heel into the top of your attacker's foot or back into his shins if he tries to pick you up. Then alternate with headbutts, smashing the back of your head into his face. As soon as he loosens his grip, spin around with some vicious elbows to save some time. This is a perfect way for her to not only stop my, you know, the attacker, but also really be able to escape the situation. So if I'm here and I have my hands around her neck, instead of, you know, wanting to push me away, she's actually going to hold me down here. So look, her hands are holding my arms in place. This is what's going to set up the arm bar. Now what she does is she's going to lift her hips up, bring my, her legs over my shoulders, pinch her knees in. Now that's securing my elbow and it's perfect for hyperextension. And now she's just gonna drive her hips forward, tap. She's not just lifting her legs up, she needs to make up for the distance. So what she's gonna do is use her hips, coming all the way up, exactly. Now it doesn't matter how big I am, it doesn't matter how small she is. If she has her legs over my shoulders and she pinches my elbows together and pushes her hips through, the, my arms will break. Practice this with a partner, doesn't matter about social distancing. Everyone needs to know this. Thanks guys. Some people out there think that if you're a small female, you have no way of defending yourself against someone bigger and stronger than you. But in reality, all you have to do is know the right moves to use in the right moment.